256 to the power of x is equal to 1 over x. How should we solve it? Hmm, the left hand side, exponential form. And the right hand side, a fraction. Oh my god, so what should we do? Maybe you want to say, multiply by x on the both hand sides. However, it is very, very useless. So now what should we do? Hmm. Our problem is not this 1 over x, but this to the power of x. We cannot bear it, so what should we do? Of course, we can raise to the power of 1 over x on the both hand sides. And for the left hand side, it will become 256 to the power of x, and then all to the power of 1 over x. And then, and then this x will disappear. And the right hand side, of course, you should take it to the power of 1 over x as well. So then, a to the power of m, then also the power of n, it is a to the power of m times n. And x times 1 over x, it is 1. So the left hand side is just 256. And the right hand side is mm, this thing. We don't like it. What should you do? Hmm. Think of it. Maybe you can think of an idea. Substitution. We can let 1 over x be equal to t. Of course, the range of t is always positive. Why? When t is equal to 0, then this equation or this substitution doesn't hold. Since x is a denominator and it can never be 0. And then the second case, when t is smaller than 0. Then x should also be smaller than 0. However, the left hand side will be positive. It is always positive, And the right hand side will be negative. And this equation, the original equation, will not hold. So t can only be positive, and then, don't worry, this equation will turn into an equation about t. 256, it is 4 to the power 4. So then, we can get the answer. t is equal to 4. Mm -hmm. Stop! Now, we know that t is equal to 4 is an answer of this equation, but we don't know if it is the only answer. So now what should we do? We don't know if t is equal to 4 is the only answer of our equation, so we have to prove or find other roots. Focus on this equation. Usually, we have to construct a function. The function f of t. We only have to prove that this equation, t to the power of t is equal to 4 to the power of 4, has only one solution or one root. So then, what should we do? Of course, derivative. However, before the derivative, we have to take a natural log on the both hand sides. And I'm going to write it with red pen. So now, the natural log of the function ft is equal to the natural log of t to the power of t. And we know that this t can jump out from the bracket. Actually, here, in front of the long sign. So it's going to look like this.
we have to find the derivative of f of t. So now, what should we do? Of course, for the left-hand side, find the derivative of f of t. And, of course, it is the derivative of a composite function. The derivative of the natural log of f of t, it is 1 divided by f of t. And then times. The derivative of f of t is the derivative of f of t. So, this times the derivative of f of t. And for the right-hand side, it's a multiplication of a derivative. So, now it's going to like the derivative of the first function. It is 1 times the second, uh, sorry, the derivative of the first factor, and then times the second factor, and then plus the first factor times the derivative of the second factor, 1 over t. And then, what should we do? The derivative of f of t is just equal to multiply by f of t on the both sides, and it will be f of t, and then times the natural log of t, and then plus 1. Since here, t and t, numerator, denominator, they can cancel out each other. We know that f of t is just t to the power of t, and then times the natural log of t, then plus 1. Now we have to find out the momentum density of this function, f of t. So what we should do, we have to find the stagnation point of this function. Of course, we have to let the derivative be equal to 0, and then solve the value of t. So now, t to the power of t, then times the natural log of t plus 1. 0. We know that t should be positive. So t to the power of t is always positive. Don't care about it. Then, the natural log of t plus 1 can be 0. Well, the natural log of t and then plus 1, it is equal to 0. And then, what should we do? The natural log of t is 91. Solve for t successfully. T is equal to e to the power of negative 1. And e to the power of negative 1, it is 1 over e. Now, we can construct or we can make a table. When t is smaller than 1 over e, then the situation should be t to the power of t is always greater than 0. And the natural log of t then plus 1 is negative. So positive times negative, the derivative of f of t should be negative. It is, of course, monotonically decreasing. And when t is greater than this value, and the derivative, of course, it is greater than 0, and then it is monotonically increasing. We can construct the graph. t, of course, it cannot be 0, but we can solve the limit when it tends to 0. When t tends to 0, the limit of t to the power of t is, of course, 1. However, t cannot be 0. So this point is 1. And this point is 1 over e, here. So the graph, first decreasing and then increasing. Of course, to infinity. The minimum value is on the point 1 over e. And then, the left-hand side is, of course, t to the power of t. 
and the right hand side is 4 to the power of 4, 256. How many intersections will there be? Of course, there will be only one intersection and what does it mean? It means this equation has only one real root. Of course, this equation has only one real root. And our original equation, of course, it also has one root. When t is equal to 4, then x is, of course, 1 over 4. Substitute it in our original equation and check it. You can find out that this solution is correct. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me some love. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And see you next time. Bye-bye.